Hello? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. How was your weekend? I rest um, Sunday, in this Sunday. That's very good. You rested. Rested. All right, good. Anything special on the weekend? Um, funeral, ¿cómo se dice? Funeral. Funeral. I, I, I is funeral. I went to a funeral. When? I went. Oh funeral. my God, who? Who died? Uh, my, my friend, um, girl. It was a girl. It, it was a girl. I um no no me quedé me quedé perdón. Dijo mi mi my friend girl. Sí, una amiga. Uh -huh. Una amiga. It was a girl. What happened? COVID. No, no, um, paro cardíaco. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Heart attack. Uh, Hi. Hi, Alejandra, how are you? Good. All right. Did everybody have a good weekend? A funny yes. weekend. Yes, it was a great weekend. I spent time with my family. All right. Did you watch El Salvador versus Costa Rica? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel disappointment. Yeah, it was sad. It was sad. Okay, let's do. You see my screen, correct? Yes. 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 Okay, let's do the listening part. Listen to the conversations. Can you hear? Check the correct answers. Yes, yes, I, do. yes I do. Okay. Yes. Hi, I'm your Thank new you. neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me, what were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. 
And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. I see. How do you know so much about this? I called that number five years ago. Carpool. Okay, so number one, Tom grew up in? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. Yes, San Carol, Francisco. You, Carol used to? Read comic book. Read comic books. And now? He's in another park in downtown. No, and now oh. what does Carol do now? Uh, black and white no. photographs? Oh. Yes, she collects black and white photographs. What's the meaning? Oh. Photographs. Photograph? Pictures, photograph. Pictures, okay. Do you know the difference between a picture and a photograph? Mm. No, I don't know. The photograph is physical. And oh. picture can be mentally. Oh. It's like, uh, take me a picture and give me a photograph, right? Yeah, I mean, people say, hey, take a picture, but actually the correct way is take a photograph. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, some people say, because they never heard the expression, okay, picture yourself in the beach. So it's like, you, you imagine. Like, uh, Evelyn, do you picture yourself in white getting married? No, <laughs> no but okay, good. But that, that's the correct question. Do you picture? It's like, hmm, I can imagine me in white. But photograph is really the... <clears throat> okay, according to Helen, what's wrong according to Helen? Is in enough parking downtown. There isn't. Good. Anna can join a carpool by calling a calling phone, number. phone number. Okay, good. Use the past tense. It says where I was born in Mexico City. So what's correct? Where you born? Where were you? What we do well. Complete the conversation using the past tense and make sure not to use or capital letters when necessary. Did in high school be no, he didn't study French in high school. He studied Spanish. So did did you study, did you study French, French in high French. school? Did, did you study French? Or he? Did he? Did he? Yes. Study. Number three is. He studied. Oh yes. French. Complete the conversation, use the past tense and make sure to not use or wait, wait, wait. And make sure to not use or use. I don't, I don't, hold on, I'm sorry. Complete the conversation, use the past tense and make sure to not use or use capital letters when necessary. This is not correct. Make, make sure. To use or not to use capital letters, Sidiraf. 
where am I going like that? Okay, when from college? When when did, did, when when did they, they graduate from college? Good. Graduate. 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 I'm sorry. All right. Let's go to the next. Vocabulary says, choose the best words to complete each sentence. Every summer, Sam used to go to the with his friends. Beach. 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 I really enjoyed playing blank when I was a teenager. Chess. Chess. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ed has some unusual pets, including a rabbit and a snake. 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 Used to. Use the correct form of used to and the verbs given. Make sure you use the correct capitalization when needed. <clears throat> um, and don't use it whenever it's not necessary. Example, blank, play basketball when you were in high school. Sidia, when did you? Did you used to play? Yes, did you used to play basketball in high school uh, when you were in high school? So number one, it says, A, blank, play soccer when you were a child. Did you used to play? Did you used when you to were play? a child. Did you used to? Did you used to? Used, not did. used, but I'd use. Did, did you used to? Used to? Oops. Did you used to? A. Good. Yes, I blank played soccer every day after school. I used as I used to. Used to. And what things blank collect? Did you used to. You? And what things did you use to collect, correct? Yes. Oh, I never anything when I was a kid, but now I collect postcard. Collected. 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 Good, I never collected. Word order, fewer should noise their less be cars and there should be cars and less noise. There should be fewer noise and less cars. There should be fewer cars and less noise. There should be fewer less cars and less noise. Yeah. Instructions, scramble the sentence, choose the best way to write the sentence. Lanes would be more we bicycle have. We should have more bicycle We should have, have more bicycle lanes. Bi more bicycle, right? Bicycle lanes. 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 There's lanes. lanes. Like a space for bicycles and can we drive in a... Carril. Lanes. Carril. Mm -hmm. Like in El Salvador, yeah, I think in um, some streets have bicycle lanes. Air pollution. Pollution is much free to air. There is too much air pollution.
highlighting. Indirect question, where is the nearest restaurant? What is the indirect question? Do you know where the nearest restaurant is? Do you know is? where the nearest restaurant is? Actually, this one's correct too. How much do you, I'm, I'm sorry, how much do newspapers cost? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? How much newspapers How much cost? the last one? Paper cost number the six. Last one. All right. Thank Where you. is the best bookstore in town? Do you know where the best bookstore in this town is? Do you know where the one? best bookstores in town is? Two, the two one. Second one. The second one, perdón. What? No, it's okay. What time do <laughs> banks close? The second one. The, the first one. one. The first one. The first one. Okay, reading. No. Dean Kamen is an inventor. He and his team developed the Segway Human Transporter. The Segway, I'm sorry. A battery-powered two-wheeled electric transportation device with a price of $3,995. It costs less than a car. It's easier to ride than a motorcycle and uses less space than a, bi than a bicycle. And it's easy to operate. Stand on the platform, lean forward to move ahead, lean back to stop or move backwards and twist left handle to turn. To go faster, lean forward a little more. Some people compare it to ice skating because it moves so quietly and it turns so smoothly. The Segway HT weighs 32 kilograms, 70 pounds. You can fit it in the trunk of most cars. Fully changing the battery packs for four to six hours allows you to ride as many as 16 kilometers, 10 miles. Although it can hold only one passenger or 100 to, or to 200 pounds, the Segway HT is a great way to get around, do errands in most cities, and it can go anywhere people walk, jog, or ride bicycles. The Segway is ex is an environmental friendly and energy efficient machine of the 20th century. Would it be fun to have one? Do you know what is a Segway? Um, no. The Segway are like the little scooters, but you're standing. Electric. Electric scooter? Yes, but you are standing up. Okay. Let me see this. Like thing. that. Exactly, yes. Yeah. That, eh, let me On that. the market. Yes. The sideways. El Salvador no duraría en un día. So Dean Kamen, who is he? He invented the Segway. He invented the Segway. The Segway HT. Is cheaper. It's cheaper. Cheaper than buying a car. Than buying a car. This new transportation device 
Recharge in four to four six hours. Recharges. The Segway HT. Could replace a bicycle. A lesson objective, practice asking and answering conversation, uh, answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tenses. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sons explains when you simple past. Explains when to use simple past versus the present perfect tense, depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experience by responding in both present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehensive exercise. Veamos. Hi everyone. At the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued in the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on given more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is yes, I did. And then you give more information. So they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, 
and then you might give more information. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. So let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject then this follows the word ever and then the verb in its past participle form and then whatever complement that exists so in this case have you ever eaten snails and by the way um, this word here is a frequency adverb so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct but in this case we want to use it have you ever eaten snails um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response such as yes I have or this could be a negative response such as no I haven't and so just so that we can see clearly what's happening what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time alright there we go so have you ever eaten snails and it's the same thing um, for our next question, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement and the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm going to say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had which is related to this topic right so have you ever eaten snails and my, my answer to that question is yes I have I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect 
and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience. Okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it? So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. Okay. First of all, do you know what is present perfect? Do you know what is present perfect? Yeah. What is present perfect? Uh, in Spanish, uh, eh, yo he comido. Una... Yeah. Una acción en presente, pero también en pasado. Entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia no. de yo comí y yo he comido? Yo he comido. Lo sigo haciendo. Uh -huh. El... Vamos a ver. Voy a usar un ejemplo con Evelyn. Mariela. Yes. Usted vive en, en Santa Tecla, correct? Yes. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Eh, three years ago. Three years. Yes. Okay, in San Miguel, how many, how long? Seventy years ago, I lived in San Miguel. So look, I lived in San Miguel 17 years. This is simple past, correct? Something that, that happened and finished. 
Yes, the action happened and the action finished. Now I have I have lived in Santa Tecla for three years. The action started in the past, but it still continues now. It can, so the action's still active now. Correct? Correct. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Have you ever? Teacher, have you ever gone to Playa El Cuco? Yes, I have gone to Playa El Cuco. Oh, many times. And Tamarindo. And, uh, oh, miren, disculpen la pregunta rapidita. ¿Cuál es la playa que hay una gran piedra y uno puede comer y... y... Encima de la piedra, pero a tal hora sube la marea. Las tunas, creo. Las, Las tunas. tunas. Yes. Um, se nos quedó el carro una vez y como que si ese es el vacil de la gente que vive ahí, como. Sí, sí, perfectly happen. Que no le dicen a nadie y cuando uno va viendo, va subiendo la, la marea. Que, hey, oh my God, el carro, el carro. But it's nice, I like it. Okay, uh, listen, let's do one. Do you, do you, vamos a hacer dos preguntas. Una con do you, what do you, where do you, which is simple present, if was have you ever, right? Um, let me see, excuse me real quick. Let me see, Genaro. Hi, teacher. Hi, Genaro. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I like pupusas. Good. You see, that's that's my that's my question here. Do you like? That's simple present. Entonces me dijo, yes, I like pupusas. Genaro, have you yes. ever eaten pineapple pupusas? Uh, yes, I have uh, eaten eaten pupusas. No, 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 no. That's not my question. Listen. Primero le pregunté. Oh, okay. Y esto también es mucho de cuestión de lógica, ¿verdad? Porque si yo le pregunto, ¿le gustan las pupusas? Si me gustan, mm -hmm. entonces no le voy a preguntar. ¿Alguna vez ha comido pupusas? Le pregunté si alguna vez ha comido pupusas de piña. Ah, ok. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. okay. Have you ever eaten pineapple pupusas? No, I not eaten pupusas de pine. Ok, pineapple. Pineapple. Ok, no, I have never eaten pineapple pupusas. Ok, I have never eaten, eaten pupusas. Eaten pupusas uh, pine. Apple. Pa pineapple pupusas. Pineapple pupusas. Yes. En inglés okay. la primera palabra de de describe la segunda. Acuérdense eso siempre. Ok. En español es al revés. La segunda describe la primera. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Good, Genaro. So, yes, um, pineapple pupusas are good. I have eaten, I have eaten Chicken pupusas, um, pineapple pupusas, garlic pupusas, de aguacate, avocado pupusas, they're good. <laughs> they're very good. Okay, let me see. Francisco. Hello. Francisco, are you married? Yes. I'm married. Okay. Have you ever
forgotten. An important date. Yes, I. <laughs> Teacher, be careful. He has a speaker in his yes. Oh yes, huh? Hey, 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 Francisco, you need to use you need to use headsets. <laughs> no, no. So yes, you have forgotten an important date. Yes, okay. I, I, I forget an important important date. Okay, good. Por eso está Facebook, man. Yes, the calendar. <laughs> yes. I don't, I really, I don't remember when I got married. I don't remember. I just checked my ring or Facebook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Carmen. Carmen said, hi. Yes, teacher, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Do you like to sing? Sorry? Do you like to sing? Yes, of course, yes I do. Have you ever sung in karaoke? Yes, I have. Yes, I have sung. Yes, I have sung in karaoke. All right, where? In, in my house or in some karaoke bar. All right, cool. What song? Is Still Loving You of a Scorpion? Oh. Still loving you. That's right, yes. Este cantante tiene muy buena voz. All right. Alejandra, Milena. Hi, Alejandra, are you there? I think you're in mute, Alejandra. Okay, maybe Alejandra's not there. Melissa, are you there? Hmm. Nidia, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Si usted no me contestaba, ya, ya iba a pensar que era yo. <laughs> 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 yo, entonces, soy yo, entonces. Hi, Nidia. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Do you like pizza, Nidia? Yes, I like. Have you ever eaten pizza in Pizzeria La Clásica? Yes, I have. Pizza in Pizzeria Clásica? Yes, I have eaten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I have eaten. That's good. Oh no. Very good. All right. The, the sauce. Sauce? Yes. Yes. It's very it's good. good. Mm -hmm. All right. Carlos Arias, are you there? Yes. Sure. Have you have you ever eaten tacos near Redondelma Ferrer? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, I I eat them tacos in Redondelma Ferrer. Okay, good. Eh, creo que queda cerca de, ¿cómo se llama ese lugar? Um, el que queda enfrente de esos tacos, ¿cómo se llama? <laughs> juguetón. <laughs> el juguetón. Mm. Yeah. Banco de tapatíos, de tapatíos. Yes. <laughs> In front is juguetón. And banco, some banco agrícola, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, cool. 
Carlos, are you there? Yes, teacher. No, Carlos Margarita, I'm sorry. Yeah, teacher. What, mov what movies do you like? What genre? Genre is general, okay? Genre. Mm, it depends, teacher, uh, because um, I like to, to watch uh, horror, horror movies and comic movies. You like to watch horror movies? Yeah. For example, uh, Annabelle, that is an amazing movie. Have you ever seen The Exorcist, the original? Uh, I have never. Uh, what? But, uh, ex ex face to face, uh, but in movies, yes. Wait, but wait, wait, wait. You like you like horror movies, and you have never seen The Exorcist. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, I have never. Okay, you seen need it. to see The Exorcist. <laughs> but is maybe I can buy when when what uh, some exercise face to face. Face to face. What do you mean face to face? The, the meaning of what or but I, I don't understand face to face. Face to face. Uh, do you know what is the meaning of that? Frente de frente. Frente de frente. Yeah, frente de frente. No entiendo. Well, so, Mm, but face to face, when you start to talk about with another person, uh, for example, when uh, I don't know what is, I can face. Really, do you know about uh, what is the meaning of face to face? I know face to face, but for example. Hey, I need to talk to you face to face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but I don't understand in movies. But you, when you ask me the question is, is have you ever seen exercise? Uh, exercise. Exorcist. Exorcist. And the movie. movie. The movie. The movie, yes, the movie. Yes, but <laughs> so sorry, but I think that you when you ask me that question, uh, I think that you ask me had you ever seen uh, an exorcism? Ex uh, yeah, but oh, okay. I okay. think I think that so sorry though. No, no, okay, I understand. Lo único, una pregunta, Carlos. El, digamos un exorcismo, ¿tiene cara? No. Entonces no puedes decir face to face. En este sentido se dice in person. Okay, okay. All right, so. No, I have never seen an exorcism in person. Yeah, I have never seen uh, exorcism. Person. Okay, good. Because they don't exist. But the demons exist. No, man. Yeah. <laughs> no. Right. But when they... the exorcisms don't exist, what happened was if you, what happened was that before, antes, schizophrenia, yeah. bipolar, was not discovered. So do you, do you believe in, de in demons? No, I don't believe in God. Right. And I don't believe in demons. But um, no, but that's what happens is that before, supuestamente la historia, right? That, uh, schizophrenia was discovered, I think in the seventies. So before when somebody had like an epileptic attack or going crazy, people said, oh my God, it's the devil. And the poor person, they start doing an exorcism and it was not correct. That person was mentally or something 
like el bipolarismo, everything. But I would love it. Faría ver un exorcism. Yeah. Because. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Continue. But, but, but watch the movie. The movie's very good. Yeah, the movie is amazing. I like you the can, movie. Yeah. And you? Uh, what kind of movies do you like to, to watch? Oh, man. I like to watch. Um, I am a big, big, big Quentin Tarantino fan. So I like to watch movies about Quentin Tarantino. But when you... When you are watching uh, that movie, you... I'm sorry. Do you uh, feel it? I, I, I'm sorry. You're too close. You're doing this. Oh, sorry. No, Quentin Tarantino is more violent. He's not... His genre is not... Like Kill Bill. Did you watch Kill Bill? It's Quentin Tarantino. And I like classic movies. Yeah, y no sé por qué me gustan películas de los 50s. Mm. Or, or... Yeah, I like it. There's nice. All right, let me see. It is Mulato. Hi. 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 Teacher. Okay. Hello. Dice que como estamos hablando de miedo, Ahorita usted parece una película de miedo que está como que se está persiguiendo. Es que estoy afuera de la casa porque acabo de venir de trabajar. Ah, ok. Entonces, okay. por el protocolo de COVID, entonces no entro hasta que termina la clase. Oh, ok. Good. Hey, good, good. Uh -huh. uh, Ingrid, I'm sorry, Iris, do you like chicken? Mm, yes, I like. Have you ever eaten bonanza chicken? Um, no, no. Item bonanza chicken. Okay, no, because... I have never. No, ah, uh, sí, no, I have never eaten bonanza chicken. Porque siempre está muy lleno, no sé cómo decir uh, eso. Because it's always full. Ahorita lo creo. Ah, no. Bonanza chicken, el BC, Bonanza chicken. Old wood is crowded. So it's full, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. But it, it's, it's too expensive now. Let me see. Marvel, where's Marvel? Oh, there you are. Hey, Marvel, hi. Hello, Marvel, are you there? Marvel. Hello, teacher. Hi, Marvel, how are you? Fine, thank you. Marvel, you live in San Martin, correct? Correct. Have you ever eaten in La Curva? Uh, no. Repeat, please. Okay. okay. I came in fast and sort of responded, yes, no. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> okay. Have you ever eaten in La Curva? No. no. I have never eaten in La Curva. Okay, good. There's like a curva in San Martin, I remember. All right. Daniel, where do you live, Daniel? Daniel Palacios? Palacios, yes. Uh, I, I, live, I live in San Martin. Oh, you live in San Martin too? And where do you yeah. work? And test, I work at test oh, field. Yes. In San Martin, in San Bartolo, correct? Um, after the San Bartolo. After San Bartolo? Yes, between San Martin, San Bartolo. Oh, okay. 
la curva, restaurant la curva. Oh, okay. Oscar. Have you ever seen the air show? Aeroport. The air show in in uh, Ilopango oh, okay. Airport. Uh, yes, yes, I I have seen show air air show air show. Oh, very good. It's nice. It's cool. Okay, Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Yes. Creo que termina todo. Ah, no, I'm sorry. Alba, no le he preguntado. Huh? Alba? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Alba. Hi, teacher. Alba, you're married, correct? Uh, yes. But I uh, don't have the ring yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Me too. I, I, <laughs> I, never, I never use my ring. Really? Yes. But it, it's okay with my wife. Realmente mi esposa me lo ha quitado. Ah, okay. <laughs> because I, I I have a, a little little claustrophobia. Oh. So um. I never use a watch or necklace because I'm I'm always siempre me lo quito. Okay. Yeah, o oh, es la excusa que le he dado a ella. <laughs> no, mi mamá le dijo, mire, y, y es cierto, me quitaba el niño que a ti jugaba con él. No he notado que en clase siempre estoy jugando con algo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> eh, siempre estoy con, ajá. So, si tuviera algo, eh, mi anillo ya lo hubiera perdido. <laughs> But anyway, so you are married. Have you ever seen your ex-boyfriend and you are with your husband? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, Because I, my ex-boyfriend <laughs> lived in San Martin and I live in San Miguel. But now he's married oh, okay. too. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, no, yeah. One time I saw my ex-girlfriend. She's on TV now. Really? Yes, in, in some, and um, salen las noticias, and every time, like, oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> nos tocó cambiar de noticiero. Yes, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But sometimes I return, like, eh, wow. <laughs> no, no, me entiendes. Okay, no, it's, okay. <laughs> no it, it's, it's very strange. Okay, let me see. Did you, did yes. You Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, yes. Uh, how long have you been teaching English? Very good question. I have been teaching English ooh, more than 15 years. Yeah. Um, have you, have you ever uh, worked in some call center in this country? Yes. Yes, I have. And which call center? In Telus. In Telus, I was in, in Google. And Google, that was an amazing account. Yes, but now it's not very good. I mean, all call centers now, they're, they're very, I don't know, after, after the, the COVID, the call centers are very, I don't know, they're very strange now. Yes or no, Alejandra? Yes. Mm -hmm. Complicated. <laughs> yes, they're, they're complicated. But, But the I, payment is, is good. No, that's the problem. Now, now, como que si todos están pagando igual. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But like, sí, es el más cosa. Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, it's supposed. I don't know, but tell us it's the best of time in El Salvador. I don't know. It's true. But... Yes. But in this moment, like from a few months now, Talos has reduced everything. So um, Talos ha cambiado como de gobierno, you know, 
Everything is different now. Yeah, iba a ser uno más, igual a los otros. But um, yes. Like, hmm? uh, maybe in five years, it will be like a tip. Yes, <laughs> like teleperformance, maybe, yes. Have you ever, well, Alejandra, work, Alejandra works in a call center. Anybody yeah. here, have you ever worked in a call center? No, no, uh, but no, it, I haven't. If you can, I really recommend you because it's a good experience. I mean, for English and everything, it's a very good experience. It's a good experience. Yeah, it's helped to be a good client. Yes. The more, mm -hmm. more patient and I don't know. Yes, it's, it's a very good experience. <laughs> And teacher, it but we have experience in, in, in call center. But what it, what is would you recommend you about the Epic Games? Epic Games in Talos. Yeah. It's One sad, thing. No. Okay, look, this is what happens. Call centers, the majority, every call center, every company needs three things. Yes. Number one, it needs customer care. Do you know what is customer care? Saben que es customer care es atención al cliente. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ahí es donde usted va a aguantar todas las, hasta de qué nació le van a decir. <laughs> Atención al cliente. Number two, number two is soporte técnico. Technical support. Which is tech support, yes. And so. And number three, sales. Yeah. Las ventas. Siempre es el que paga mejor, porque eso es el que el call center, me imagino que también toda empresa, Es el que considera productivo. Yes. Ventas. El de, el de soporte técnico no es considerado productivo porque es un servicio que están dando en teoría gratis. Pero, o sea, le están pagando por gusto. Así lo ven ellos. Y me imagino que todas las empresas. Pero el que, el que está en ventas genera dinero. Pero también así tiene la presión de métricas. Entonces, cuando, si ustedes alguna vez se meten a un call center, tengan eso en mente. ¿Para qué se sienten ustedes que traen? Porque hay gente que es toda sweet y bien dulce y todo. Y los meten a, a ventas. Y en ventas es mucha presión. Yo. <risas> Ajá, entonces tienen una muy mala experiencia y dicen, no, los call centers no son para mí, pero lastimosamente no. en el call center. Hay que, tener, hay que tener inteligencia emocional. Yes. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Pero, pero me imagino que así son todos los trabajos. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Um, Definitely. All jobs yes. are like that. <laughs> yes. Have you ever? Yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yo solo, sí. yo solo he de dicho hecho, que... Yo, yo uh -huh. me considero que es personas que venden, digamos, en Simán, en algún almacén o cosas así, tienen más paciencia incluso que yo, porque por lo menos yo no le estoy viendo la cara a la gente, pero ellos pero, que sí. Pero sabe una cosa, me, me dado cuenta. Cuando yo me enojo. Pero me he dado cuenta que si esas vendedoras así encima tuvieran una capacidad, una capacitación como la que tienen los de ventas en call centers, vendieran como locos. Mm. Porque si una vez uno está encima y llega la vendedora y dice, ¿necesita algo? No, no, gracias, solo estoy viendo. Si necesita algo, ahí voy a estar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Y ahí muere. Uh -huh. Y cuando alguien escoge la camisa, le caen. Se lo va a llevar a la caja. Pum, y dan el ticket. Y está bien, pues, porque ahí está su comisión, pero 
si le dieran un poquito mejor en training, oh, nice. Uh. Ya, yeah, pero yo solo digo, el último trabajo, a mí me da tanta lástima esa gente, son los seguridades. Oh, my God, man. Estar parados ocho hasta 24 horas. Sad. <coughs> Por ejemplo, ayer fui a un Dollar City y vi al pobre señor, viejito, viejito. Yo digo, pues, va a estar 10 horas ahí parado. Y más lento de pasar el tiempo. Es feo. Hay que, ajá, uno aprende a apreciar más a la gente. Una cosa sí, pero sí he aprendido en call centers y me gusta esto. Y este se lo voy a dar a todos ustedes de recomendación. Cuando hablen a alguien, y están enojados. Eh, por ejemplo, si a, llaman a Claro, atención al cliente. Y le dicen, buenas noches, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Eduardo, qué gusto saludarlo. Sí, díganle esto, repítale. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Disculpe. Eduardo. Y haga que está anotando. Eduardo. Ok, Eduardo, fíjese que tengo un problema. Y oí Eduardo, ya oí que usted lo notó. Porque a veces los agentes de call centers, cuando les sale alguien bien tonto o enojado, ok, solo lo avientan o lo tiran a otro lugar, a otro lugar. Pero si saben de que ya, ya mencionaron mi nombre, ya saben quién soy, mejor no me tomo riesgo por si llaman otra vez y ponen una queja. Disculpe, ¿sabe con quién habló? Sí, con Eduardo. Oh, <ríe> uh, consejo. <ríe> Ok, miren, mañana vamos a hacerlo al revés. Ustedes van a hacer preguntas. Yes. Do you like Chinese food? Yes, I like Chinese food. Have you ever eaten in Hunan restaurant? Have you ever eaten in Hunan restaurant? Yes. No. It's good. All you can eat. No. Have, you, have you ever eaten in Faisca de Brasil? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I love Faisca de Brasil. It's very good. But it's very expensive. Yes. ¿Cuánto pagó, Evelyn? Uh, $80. $80? Yeah, I don't remember. My, yeah. my no. father invited me. <laughs> Your boyfriend? No, my father. Oh, good. Yeah, it's normally for two people, it's maybe $100. Pero es, es una barbaridad. Lo... Bueno, pero si ustedes comen más o menos, o sea, comen poquito, no vayan. No vale la pena. Porque ahí es de really, really eat. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, class, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you very hey, much. Good night, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 everyone. Happy Monday. Thank you.